Cinema 4D is an amazing software for 3D animation and motion graphics. It has been used by many artists since its inception in the 90s, but it is also known for its amazing third-party tools and plugins. Today we're gonna talk about some plugins that will help you make the workflow faster and will help you get better and faster results compared to using Cinema 4D's native tools only. So without further ado, we're gonna start with a tool that offers parametric workflows, instant bevel symmetry, and sub-boolean options. This plugin is called Mesh Boolean. It is a plugin for Cinema 4D that allows you to add intricate details to your hard surface models using Boolean operations. It is easy to use and generally saves time for modeling artists, especially those working under deadlines. This plugin will give you the ability to subtract and merge objects and meshes, and you can do this very easily while maintaining a good topology. With it, as a 3D modeling artist, you can immediately see real-time beveling and Boolean operations. A recent update to the plugin added support for all Cinema 4D's MoGraph objects, which means you can now use an array objects to carve a hole, shape, or forms in any polygonal object, allowing you to make more complex objects and geometries. Additionally, the plugin supports symmetry and provides sub-boolean options. The benefit of using this plugin is that it allows artists to be more imaginative when building complex shapes and scenes, especially when there are a lot of them while freeing you from time-consuming tedious hard surface modeling problems and tasks. Now we're gonna talk about another one, which is called Scroll Roll Deformer. It is part of the Super Deformer pack. This pack includes Impact, Sphere Wrap, and Scroll Roll Deformer plugins, all in one handy package. These plugins help you alter 3D geometry in new ways, and you can do this quickly and with the same ease of use compared to using Cinema 4D's built-in deformers. Now, talking about organic modeling, making organic 3D objects has been a thing for a long time now, and it's hard for modelers to make them using Cinema 4D. For the most part, making organic shapes and models is quite complex, but you can perfectly make them using sculpting software such as ZBrush. Well, not anymore, thanks to TypoGen, which is an object generator plugin that creates abstract geometry from objects in Cinema 4D. That doesn't mean it's gonna be able to do what ZBrush can do. Basically, you can create interesting organic shapes with your objects within seconds. With its various modes and input sliders, you can easily tweak the results to get a wide range of meshes. You can also cycle your geometry through a large amount of organic or hard surface shapes. It is fast and easy to use, and it is a ton of fun. The options are pretty much endless when it comes to using Tritpogen. Overall, you can create unique shapes based on simple or complex geometry. And the add-on takes your model's core mesh and transforms it into an organic sculpture instantly, which is really important. Now, talking about splines and curves, we have Spline Guide, which is a free plugin that helps you dynamically align hair along splines. It is very useful for creating different types and shapes of hair as you can use splines and other parameters to control the look of the hair. You can drag the desired hair object on hair selection properties or simply adjust the strength of the effect on hair that has a mixture of the former and normal states. When you create splines in the shape you need, you can then have the hair object in Cinema 4D aligned to them with some controls related to how the hair is gonna be influenced. But the cool part is that it is all dynamic so you have instantaneous feedback from the spline guide controls. Also, Rocket Lasso is added again with their tool slicer, which cuts through meshes like a hot knife through butter. It allows you to quickly create a series of parallel cuts into your models, offering new parametric modeling techniques, and creating unique fictional user interface elements and combining slicer with cloners and MoGraph tools to enable even more variations. Slicer's long list of features is designed to be intuitive and not complex, giving you a creative and beautiful combination of slices. Next, we're gonna talk about Stack the Bend, where you can stack bend tweaks over each other and control every bend separately. This tool will allow you to create curves and very bendy complex objects and models. This plugin provides simple solutions that will give you many case scenarios and options when working on your projects. Overall, Stack the Band is a time saver and a workflow enhancing tool that can make your projects much easier and faster. Next, Nitro 4D, we have a very intuitive tool to make complex shapes quickly. 
Nitro Box Tool is a new Cinema 4D plugin that makes hard surface modeling a lot easier and less time consuming. Nitro Box Tool supports cloning, mirroring, using splines to add details, and beveling just to name some of the features. I think plugins like these are some of the best modeling tools especially for hard surface modeling artists who create complex robots, spaceships, weapons, and so on thanks to its simplicity and efficiency in the workflow. There are also many small parts to create in this kind of work and plugins like these are very helpful for. At first glance, you will realize that this tool can do in just minutes what you will probably do in a few hours compared to using Cinema 4D's own tools. Because usually modeling complex hard surface details is time consuming and tedious. Now, we can cover a whole list of plugins without mentioning Spline Extruder. Spline Extruder is a Cinema 4D plugin that combines the power of sweep nerves with the box modeling technique by extruding a polygonal section using a spline path in real time. This plugin literally works with just a button, so basically you can make a polygonal section by just clicking prepare extrusion and some support objects will be added to the scene automatically by the plugin. Additionally, if you need to bake the result, just click on Bake Extrude. This tool can be ideal for 3D modelers because it will save you a lot of time during extrusion, one of the fundamentals of box modeling. Generally modeling handles, ropes, wrought iron gates, and trees. Last but not least, the plugin can be used also to create nice animations. Around the same topic we have Spline Patch Plugin providing users of Cinema 4D with a patch modeling function. It will be added to the list of Cinema 4D's NURBS objects and it works in a quite similar manner. Just drag and drop 3 or 4 splines that surround the surface to be created in the spline patch object and choose the number of subdivision and that's it. When the number of subdivision is set, many programs proceed with generating polygon meshes, which you can work on with certain tools. This method does not correspond with the modeling style of Cinema 4D, so the developers decided to conceive this plugin as an object generator. Overall, Spline Patch offers some features that might please the patch modeling fans, such as edge profiles, in addition to stitching and deforming. Cinema 4D is an amazing tool, but with add-ons and plugins, it can be even more magical. These were some plugins made for modeling to speed up your workflow and save you some time. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.